With threats to our nation waiting around every corner, adaptability is more important than ever. When conditions change without notice, quick strategic thinking is crucial. And with obstacles consistently impending, determination is essential in overcoming them. It's this willingness, decisiveness, and resilience that sets Marines apart. With our fighting spirit, we don't just fight battles, we win them. Marines are the constant our nation counts on to fight the unknown. And through adaptable problem solving, we do just that. Learn more at Marines.com. You got to stay true to who you are. What got you to that championship for the most part, behavior-wise, is is what's going to help you win the championship. In the high-stakes weeks of playoffs and championship games, effective game planning and scouting techniques play a crucial role in determining a team's success. Our guest today emphasized the importance of self-scouting and staying true to the team's identity while also being mindful of their opponent's tendencies. Doing a thorough job allows the coaching staff to understand their team's tendencies and opponent's tendencies and make adjustments as needed. This approach helps maintain clarity for the players and ensures they can perform at their best without being overwhelmed by constant changes in strategy. Utah defensive coordinator Morgan Scally and four-time Delaware State champion head coach of Smyrna High School Mike Judy share the approach that works best for them in these high-stakes games. What you see on tape is a direct reflection of what you teach and how you teach. Video is important, but if you don't teach well, you're not going to like what you see on your video. First Down Playbook has been helping coaches teach better for 13 years. It allows you to present installs, playbooks, and practice cards in half the time with NFL quality. Coaching tools like video pairing, a player app, practice schedules, and wristband sheets have made First Down Playbook a program management system with everything in one place. If you're in a position of leadership with your football program, receive a free one-week look at First Down Playbook. Call them at 512-814-6158 or visit them on their website or social media. Mention Coach and Coordinator Podcast or use the coupon code COACH24 to receive a $100 discount off the normal $700 First Down Playbook team membership price. Links and the phone number are in the show notes. As coaches, we know that some of the biggest hurdles to our team's success can come from off the field. Your team needs support to tackle the endless list of expenses, uniforms, training equipment, travel, and more. But raising that money can feel like a full-time job. Thankfully, there's Vertical Raise. Vertical Raise is the premier online fundraising platform using innovative technology to create the easiest and most efficient system available. Raise more money in less time with a local fundraising coach who works with your team every step of the way to customize the ideal fundraiser. With options for online donations, digital discount cards, premium product sales, and even spirit shops, Vertical Raise has top-of-the-line solutions for every fundraising style. To find out more, visit verticalraise.com and we'll get you connected with an exclusive offer on your first fundraiser. First, Coach Scali emphasizes the importance of self-scouting and understanding defensive tendencies to maintain consistency while also incorporating some new strategies to keep opponents guessing. He highlights the balance between staying true to one's strengths and making necessary adjustments. We do our self-scout every three weeks. And so kind of knowing who you are and what an offense can expect from you and, you know, what have you shown versus different formations. Who are you as a defense? What tendencies do I have as a coordinator? And knowing those and maybe having a few wrinkles off of that. But you got to stay true to who you are. What got you to that championship for the most part, behavior-wise, is is what's going to help you win the championship. Obviously, you got to have a few wrinkles. We end up playing our championship game against USC on a short week. Had one less day to prepare ended up showing a different front than we had shown before, but with the same elements of pressure. You know, I think we had five different pressures off of that, five or six different pressures off of that same look. And as long as you keep, you know, the rules of your defense the same, if you've got smart football players, it it can work. And it worked for us. 
but there's always that fine line between doing too much where your players are paralyzed by what they're looking at and what they're seeing versus stuff that fits into what you do and is different than what you've shown. So staying true to who you are, but also understanding that there's smart coaches on the other side and how can they take advantage of what they're seeing in terms of your tendencies. When you're speaking of tendencies, I believe that that tendencies can be a good thing too, especially if you're aware of them, if you're doing a good job with a self-scout. Because then it's about, well, we know we're doing these things and deciding what is the appropriate point to break these tendencies. So it's not always a bad thing. And, and I think it's a little bit more art than science of figuring out, okay, at what point are we going to switch this up? And at what point does it provide us an advantage to break the tendency? How do you approach just understanding what you're doing, knowing that it's a tendency? Sometimes you don't even break it because you just know, hey, we're good enough to play this way. But in looking at tendencies, how do you approach that? Just how you said it. And is this a, is this a strong point for us? Is this something that we think teams can take advantage of? Or is this something that, hey, we know who we are, we're good enough at it, and let the better team win while we're doing it? So it's almost like one, one of those deals where, okay, we know what the tendency is, and until a team starts taking advantage of it, we're just going to keep rolling with it. And I think if you have that fear that someone's going to exploit what you're doing you end up turning into a a a jack of all trades master of none you're doing something different every single week and your players have no confidence in in what they're doing you know at the the end of the day a lot uh, about playing fast is knowing what you're doing and having done it over and over and over again right again we we go back to behavior what wins and loses you that rep was it the scheme or was it oh man i didn't use inside hands i didn't play with proper footwork and is that because you're doing so much that they can't get great at proper footwork and inside hands and all the techniques that win you games coach judy discusses things from the defensive perspective as well focusing on in-depth film analysis and breakdown to create a comprehensive playbook for the opponent He emphasizes the importance of understanding the opponent's offense thoroughly and being prepared for any potential adjustments or strategies. So I'm going to talk to you from a defensive perspective on this one, going into a championship game. In our state, so the listeners out there may have to adjust the way, what level of the playoffs this this can apply to, because in our state, we're not going to see anyone in the state championship game that's like from hours away or that doesn't have a common opponent we're going to see somebody who at least has a common opponent uh, just because of the size of the state is small so this might be a regional playoff game for you guys out in you know texas or colorado or somewhere where you have to travel so the way we so we will take this opponent and we will try to get as much film as possible on them. If we already don't have film, we'll try to get as much film as possible, obviously through exchange. And it's kind of an unwritten rule. If you get, you know, two, if you, you exchange two for two with the opponent and typically at that point in the year, going into a championship game here, you know, we just exchange one for one or two for two and and everybody kind of has everybody's film by that time of the season it's not officially but you can easily get all of our game films from somebody so i take a lot of pride in in the breakdown aspects of the analytical side of football so my defensively the defensive coordinator myself and the other uh, members of the defensive staff start to break down games and we log in um specifically we're looking for down distance cash, field position, stuff like that. The the very, very basic but important fundamental pieces of data in a breakdown. So we're looking at all that. So then what we do, and this might seem like a tall task, but this this is just the way we've been doing it for years, is Dan, our defense coordinator, and myself, we sit down. Once we have this breakdown, all the films, 
and the, the opponent's offense logged in. We will make, again, we're talking about championship game now. We will make one final push, okay, at breakdown with like what we, we're trying to achieve is the greatest breakdown you've ever seen <laughs> So at the high school level. So what we're looking for is we are looking to break them down so much that we build our own playbook for our opponent. So we break, we're trying to break down their offense so much that we can like literally write or make a playbook or a call sheet for them out of what we've seen. What we believe is not going to happen in a championship game. We don't believe that any team is going to come out in a brand new offense. We don't believe that's going to happen. Although some teams will do that periodically during the season is roll out a new offense. All of a sudden, you know, they're struggling. Well, if they're struggling, they're not going to the state championship or deep in the playoffs. So they're not going to reinvent the wheel offensively. We know we understand that. So we're trying to take a look at everything that they've done how they've gotten their best kids the ball, who do they think they are, who are they trying to be from an offensive standpoint, and we break them down and we write the book on them. And the book essentially is we have three, I would say, six-foot to eight-foot wide whiteboards along our office wall, and that thing will be filled with every formation, what they ran, and what the percentage and tendencies are out of all of that. So we go very, very thorough in our breakdown. And typically you have one full week, but sometimes you have two weeks to prepare for that game. So that has proved really, really effective for us to understand our, uh, our opponent's offense. We essentially are writing a play, like possible play calls, things that reoccur over and over and over again. We'll have it broken down into, like I said, personnel, formations, strong week run game, pass game, down and distance pass game, down and distance run game. We want not only to have their play calls essentially built based on what they've shown in film, we also want to get an idea and dive into the mind of that play caller. Surprisingly, you'll be lucky to find much being very thorough, at least in our state, you're not, it's going to be hard to find all the situations. So there are going to be, you're going to be left empty handed with, you know, well, what's their two point play? Well, you know, what's their one or two, two point plays, or did they just stick their guns? Well, you might not know because they, this team might not have had a two pointer all season long. So we use information that we can gather from this season and then the very last aspect of this is if this is an opponent, a common opponent for us that we've seen before or that their coach has been there a long time or their staff has been there a long time, we try to get into their minds a little bit with that. We want to understand who they are. And then we might even start to incorporate some of their previous year's films into our breakdown if we see patterns that are matching. We might start to incorporate that to build an outlook and build a tendency chart. And then we, meet, we rely heavily on that for game planning. As you get down to these final games, effective game planning and scouting techniques require a strategic and meticulous approach. Thorough self-scouting, comprehensive film analysis, and proactive preparation for potential adaptations allow you to equip your team with the necessary tools to succeed in these high stakes games. By maintaining a balance between staying true to your team's identity and being adaptable to opponents' tendencies, you can maximize the chances of achieving victory in the most crucial games of the season. Be sure to keep tuning in for the rest of the season as we give you tips to continue through the playoff into championship games as well as wrapping up the 2023 season.